Turkey is in mourning for the victims of a car bomb in Ankara, which claimed at least 37 lives and injured 125 others. Security officials believe one of the two suspected perpetrators was a female member of the outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party, the PKK. Some relatives of those who lost their lives say they are angry with the government, which has been fighting the PKK for decades. He can get me detained, but he should give me back my nephew. Let him come here. I will insult President Tayyip Erdogan in the face. I say it from here. I will insult him and he can file a lawsuit. He insisted on the presidency and many people lost their children here. At the scene of the incident, forensics teams are at work. Sunday's blast was the second of its kind in the Turkish capital in less than a month. Security sources say an earlier attack on February 17th used the same kind of explosives as those seen in this latest atrocity. Turkey's interior minister says security had been stepped up, but nowhere is completely safe. Tight security measures were taken, instructions were given, but unfortunately terrorist attacks cannot be prevented 100 percent in any country. Since a two-and-a-half-year ceasefire with the PKK collapsed in July, violence has spiralled in Turkey's predominantly Kurdish southeast. Attacks in Istanbul and the Turkish capital over the last year have raised concerns among Ankara's NATO allies. They see Turkey's stability as vital to maintaining regional security, including in neighbouring Syria and Iraq.